Checking in on PCLN, NVDA, Tesla, Netflix, and CMG on the Daily Weekly time frame. So the PCLN bulls, after being very weak with lower highs and lower lows, the bulls showed up a bit today. They still have some work to do. We were in a tight range between the 50-day moving average support and the exponential resistance. We got over the exponential resistance, but we haven't broken the lower high pattern here. The high of the bounce attempt last week was 1835. High of today was 1832. So the bulls need to break that level to break out of this little downtrend funk that we're in. And we've got the middle Bollinger Band resistance right there as well. That's going to be at about 1846 with the open tomorrow. And in order to turn this thing around and have the bulls looking back up to start filling this gap, we need that middle Bollinger Band back as support. If we cannot break 1835 and we head back down towards the 50-day moving average support, which will be at about 1798, there is potential that we do see another leg to the downside and look at this gap bill at 1766. Weekly time frame for PCLN still holding exponential support. Higher lows and higher highs all of 2017. Very strong weekly chart still intact, even with the bearish reaction to earnings after the run-up that we had into earnings. Plenty of cushion that the bulls could pull back here and still be in full control longer term. NVDA, new all-time high. Lead bull today with lots of strength. We saw the open. Anytime you're a blue sky bull at all-time highs and you see an open right near the all-time high, you know the odds that you're going to break it, and then you have no resistance, so it's a nice bullish play. 140 psychological resistance from here. Support is the low of today, 137.33. We'll be keeping an eye on the gap at 133.29, but if we don't get any bearish candlesticks or any sign of consolidation or pullback, we'll be looking for the bulls to maintain strength and control at their all-time highs. And we close strong, so we have potential for further upside tomorrow, especially if we see an open anywhere near where we closed the end of the day today. Weekly time frame still in breakout mode. The weekly upper Bollinger Band is 132.50. Bulls in full control. No slowdown in sight. Really strong weekly chart. Tesla on the daily time frame is not a strong weekly chart. We have a tight pattern to be watching. 305.31 is support. And we fell a higher low today of 306.80. So the range to be watching is 305.31 and the high of the bounce attempt, which is weak, at 316.50. Break 305.31. We look at 300 and 290.76. Break resistance of 316.50, and we look at 320, and then the all-time high. So a little tight range over the past few days. The Bears have a slight upper hand, but it could go in either direction, and we're either going to see a break tomorrow or Wednesday, in my opinion. Weekly time frame still favors the Bulls. If we lose these exponential moving averages, we will see a bearish MACD cross and a bearish TCG cross. But as of right now, the Bulls are holding steady and in still, still in control of the weekly time frame. Netflix on the daily time frame bounce playing out, but we still haven't broken the high of Wednesday. And this is the third bounce day in a row. 158.78 is that resistance. And we topped out at 158.60. Middle Bollinger Band is support for these bulls. But if we cannot break the high of Wednesday, we will look to pull back down after a lower high. And the bulls will then try and form a higher low compared to 153, which is the lowest price that we hit on that dump. So the weekly time frame for Netflix is very tight. It's an inside bar forming. We had a bearish reversal hanging man candlestick last week. And to confirm it, we're going to have to see a bearish break and head back down to that low of Wednesday, ideally breaking that low of Wednesday for the Bears. But the Bulls do have a lot of wiggle room. We're currently over $4 above that support level. So the Bulls a bit comfortable in that regard. But if we see the market consolidate, we will look for Netflix to head back down towards that 153 level. CMG on the daily, also a very similar pattern to Tesla. Very similar. Almost a double top here. We did get a little higher high, but a higher low pattern. A weak bounce attempt and then a little higher low here again. So 47604 support, 48966 resistance. If we get a bear break below support, $10 move to the downside for the next support of 466. If we get a bull break above 48966, we have a $10 move to the high that we hit up at 499. So how we break from this tight three day range could see a $10 move in either direction, likely not in one day, but that will be the next target that we look to depending on which direction that break occurs. The weekly time frame, we know that 100-week resistance has been tough. That's at 491.15. The Bulls have rejected from it three out of the past four weeks, and that is the key level that the Bulls need to close above on the weekly time frame to give conviction and strength and follow through to the upside. So the market has held up strong on the bounce the last three days. I am anticipating the bounce to fade a little bit because the volume is not there to back it up. If oil consolidates, we'll look for the market to consolidate as well. And that could be a potential scenario where we see names like Tesla and CMG break their really tight three-day pattern that they are in. But we'll have to see how tomorrow goes and where we open. Certainly all of these charts are still very bullish on the weekly time frame. Thanks for watching and we'll check back in tomorrow. See you then.